women around the world have made remarkable strides, socially, economically, academically. However, there is still a ways to go. Cultural barriers hinder women's presence and advancement in the fields of science, tech, engineering, and math. And this is happening here in our own backyard in Silicon Valley, but it's nothing compared to what is happening in the Middle East and North Africa. As director of Tech Women, I have the privilege to work with the very women who are working to solve these challenges. I think we started a little early, so I'm going to wait for my slides to catch up. <laughs> the root cause is not a lack of education. In fact, more women enroll in science and tech-related degrees than men. The problem is that women are simply not getting hired. Unemployment is high, and when positions are available, they're going to the men. In the Middle East, less than one-third of women participate in the workforce, according to the World Bank, which is the lowest among all regions. And if women aren't working, everyone, their families, their businesses, and their communities are missing out on a contribution of a key demographic. I'm sorry, where are the slides? Oh, here we go, okay. I'm still going to stand here. The, this is our first Ignite talk. <laughs> OK, so I was in Jordan a few weeks ago. And the country is facing serious challenges. With so many refugees from neighboring countries, their infrastructure cannot accommodate the influx of people. And as you can imagine, fixing the gender gap is just not at the top of their priority list. And that's why we go to places like Jordan. We meet with girls and we inspire them to pursue careers in science and tech. We feel this is a way for them to build a bright future for themselves, and we do everything we can to support them to be successful. And the good news is that despite what I just described, there's a lot happening in Jordan's vibrant capital of Amman. Here's a photo of their business park. It's become the hub for innovation, and it's a place where thought leaders come together. As you can see, Google developers have had an event there just a few, a few years back. And here's where Tech Women has made an impact. Meet Hanan. She is a Tech Women alumni from 2013 who works at the business park, where she launched a startup to teach kids as young as eight how to code. This year, 30 schools will implement her curriculum for 40,000 students. And this is Afnan. She participated in the program five years ago and came home to launch a program teaching kids about hardware and robotics. And they're just two examples of alumni going home and making a difference. And it is critical for that, because in order to affect real change, it needs to be done by the people who are living in those very communities. We need to have women to serve as positive role models and to encourage girls to pursue careers and inspire them to stay with it. But the challenge that they and others face is that nobody wants to invest in the Middle East today. And I, I get it. Um, you know, there's so much instability, there's so much risk, and they don't have a robust ecosystem there. Um, and VCs and angels from here aren't going to go and do that, bridge the gap. And that's where Tech Women comes in. We're a network of more than 700 women helping women from the Middle East to Africa to Central Asia. And we help each other overcome barriers, and we help our alumni make the impact they feel is most needed in their local community. That's Tech Women. We bring t women from 21 countries to the Bay Area for a professional mentorship. Beyond that, we connect and empower them with a network of women who have the knowledge, skills, and will to make things happen. In those four short weeks, the women are exposed to innovative ideas and technologies. And even more importantly, they meet positive role models and other women leaders. Those four weeks are just the beginning, and this is where the impact begins. While here, the women collaborate with their country cohorts to devise an action plan to address social and economic issues. Our Jordanian fellows, for example, went back home and developed a program to support female graduates and increase the number of women in the workforce. They, along with five other action plan groups, won a modest seed grant to make those plans a reality. These women are the change agents who know what their community needs firsthand, and they're taking the bold steps to make a lasting difference. While challenges are global, so is the power of mentorship and our network. We couldn't do it without the support of companies like Google, who take the time, support, energy, and inspiration, and offer it to the mentors. And it's what makes our program a success today. 
Silicon Valley has long embraced a culture of moving fast and taking leaps. There's so much movement toward greater diversity and breaking cultural norms, and we're shaping a movement, and not only can we set precedents, but we have the impact to change the globe. The fact is, when women are healthy and educated, their children are healthy and educated. When women are empowered, their families are empowered. Stronger families mean stronger communities, and it is our hope for a better tomorrow. Minimal amount of time and effort through mentorship, funding, networking, and simply spreading the word can make an invaluable impact on one person, like Hanan and Afnan, who went back home and made a change. Come visit our booth to learn more. Thank you very much.